Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for your presence, oh God. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For your spirit that we feel right now in this place, oh God. We pray, Lord, that the spirit we feel here today, oh God, that it would go into every home, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This, Lord, broadcast, God. As they watch this today, Lord Jesus, or tomorrow, God, we pray that your presence would visit them, Lord. Yes, hallelujah, Lord. Yes, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. Lord, we pray that your spirit, Lord, would smite every sickness, oh God. Yes, Lord. Would lick up every infirmity, Lord. Yes, Lord. God. Would give strength and encouragement yes, to Lord. those, God, whose hands hang down, oh God, and whose knees are weakened, oh God. We pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for your help, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For your word said to look to the hills, oh God, from where our help come from, Lord. Hallelujah, you are our ever-present help, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Lord, it's it. Lord, today we reach to you, O oh God, for the body of Christ, for new birth tabernacle, Lord. We reach unto you, Lord God. We say thank you for protecting us, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us. Thank you, Jesus. We say thank you for the hands of protection that is Thank you, Jesus. Spiritually, physically, and economically, Lord God. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Really quick, I'm get out of the way. Amen. I just know that in times like this, amen, it is important that we learn how to praise the Lord. Amen. Not praise Him to manipulate His presence or just to get the, a good feeling, but praise Him because He's good. Praise Him because He's excellent. Amen. Because what praise does is it takes our mind off of the situation. It takes our mind off of the coronavirus. It takes our mind. Amen. We're realists. We're reality. We know that it's around. Amen. But praise takes our mind. Yes, Amen. Lord. From where we are to where He is. Yes, Lord. Amen. Tonight we take a step up by lifting up our praise unto Him. By magnifying Him, hallelujah, amen, through many difficult times, amen, personally, in my life, amen, I have found my strength to be, amen, when I give we God praise, praise, hallelujah, amen, when I lost my brother, amen, one of the strengths that I had, even though I had tears, amen, coming down, even though it was a hard time, amen, I learned, amen, that praise was comely, yes, amen, Lord. the Lord loved my praise, and amen, I'm just thankful that we got the ability to still give God, God praise. praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Would you do that right where you are? Would you begin?
begin to lift your heart one more time unto the Lord. Would you praise him? Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. 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 Lord, we worship you. Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. Lord, we magnify your name. Let this word go forth, Lord, and pierce our hearts. Let this word go forth, God, and give us strength today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh -huh. 
He also desires to be in intimately understood, amen, yes, and loved by us. Uh -huh. We live in a world, amen, that has become so wicked. Mm -hmm. And sometimes God has allowed some type of end. I don't want to lose you right now, but I'll mention to you some important facts about an end. All right. Amen. Just as you don't want to be known for only the superficial details of who you appear to actually be, you really want to be known. I'm a father of four kids. I raise them, they're now adults, and they are married. But there have been times, amen, as a father. I actually wanted the ones who I love the most to actually understand me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's not enough, amen, to know about the Lord. All right. That's right. A lot of folks know a little about the Lord. He wanted us to learn how he thinks mm -hmm. and feels. Uh -huh. And what's important to him and what his purpose are. Some years ago, I was on that duty in the military, I had an assignment, amen, and it was a learning process for me because I had never actually dealt with, dealt with a bunch of civilians. And it was three military, amen, leaders, and I had two secretaries, one on each end, and everything had to come across my desk. And one day, amen, the officer called me in the office and we had a little chat. I learned more in the few moments that I talked with this major than I had learned in my entire military service. And what he taught me was when you have a boss, you got to understand him yeah. and know what is important to him. To him, that's right. Amen. That's good. And the Lord actually want us to know what is actually important to him. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Of course, it is impossible for man to completely know the mind of the creator of the universe. Mm -hmm. But actually getting to understand God. Isaiah 55 and 9 said, he tells us, as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than them. Your way, higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Mm -hmm. The depth and the breadth of his mind is so great, we will never be able to fully grasp it yeah. in our lifetime. Amen. Over the years, I have learned a lot, and I'm still learning. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's so important, amen, for us to get in the Word of God. Yes, sir. And get to know Him. Yes, sir. For yourself. Yes, sir. Right. However, we can better understand God's heart and character by actually seeking Him. Yes. And learning day by day yes, sir. from His Word. Yes. I believe in this particular hour. The Lord wants us 
to not only get on our knees to repent and pray, but to get in the word of God. Yeah. We come to know our friends by sharing more experiences together. Right. Right. It's amazing, amen. It seems like in this time which we live in, we are experiencing in. And what I mean by that, amen, is a storm. Jonah, amen, story in the Bible tells us about this big fish story. Uh -huh. The story, amen, in the Old Testament, Jonah was an Israelite who God had called to be a prophet, but who refused to actually accept the divine, amen, call on his life for the mission to go to Nineveh. Amen. He left on a sea voyage. Amen. The sailors actually realized, amen, that he actually had disobeyed God. Uh -huh. And because they realized this, they threw him overboard. Yeah, yeah. This was Jonah in. Yeah. That was his end. That he was facing. You see, this coronavirus, it seems like an end to us. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Nobody has a real answer to this virus. Mm -hmm. And people are dying like flies right. in the world. Right. Uh -huh. Nobody has an answer. You see, when Jonah came to his end, amen, the Lord knew that he was at his end. He knew he was at his end. And the Lord made a big old fish. Yes, Lord. Yeah. It swallowed up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of that fish for uh -huh. three days. But in the process, Jonah recognized his end. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he decided to turn to God. All right. And, he got the yeah. and repent. Yes, sir. Amen. And the Lord heard his cry. Yes, sir. And the fish spit Jonah up. I, I, over the years, I spent some time in Anaphens. Uh -huh. But when he came out of the belly of that old big fish, yes, sir. it was like a missile All right. That's right. going up in the air. All right. And then he came down uh -huh. and landed on his feet. All right. And he took off running All right. to obey God. Uh -huh. If there's ever time the world need to understand God, yes, sir. they need to understand the Lord right now. Yes, Lord. Because the Lord is looking for obedience. Yes, he is. Obe obedience is very important to God. Go ahead. There's another story in the Bible about a woman called Hannah. Uh -huh. Her name actually Amen. Mentioned in the, in, the, in the translation. I don't want to go into that. But I just want to tell you what her name actually meant. Favor and grace. All yeah. right. Come on. All right. Good. Good. One day, Hannah went up into the temple and prayed uh -huh. with great weeping. Yes, sir. And while Eli, the high priest, was sitting on a chair near the doorpost. And the prayer, she asked God for a son. Uh -huh. But in return, she actually vowed, amen, to give her son back to God for service. Yeah. I believe in this hour, God is looking for people to turn to him. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the only thing that God actually wants, amen, is us. That's it. The only thing the Lord wants is us and turn to him. That's it. We must understand, amen, when there are storms in our life, there is a such thing as an end. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm reminded, amen, 
when Jesus Christ, amen, took the disciples and got in the boat. Yes, sir. And went below, laid down and went to sleep. And the disciples was at the end. The storm came. The storm came. And when the storm came, like into an earthquake, they decided to go down to wake Jesus up and ask him, Do you pay? You see, we're in the storm. We're in the storm. We're at an end. We're in the storm. And the Lord is looking to us to turn to him for an answer. Yes, sir. Similarly, similarly, we will also understand God better. Amen. The longer we walk with him yes. and meditate on what he has revealed about himself, in the Bible. Yes, sir. Something about these ends of, of a storm. Uh -huh. The Lord always decides to actually reveal himself. Reveal himself. Oh, yeah. yes, he does. Years ago, me and my wife went on a journey to come to Tulsa, Oklahoma to start a church without a dime in our pocket. Amen. It's amazing how when you accept the call of God and you will be prayerful and faithful. We came here with hope. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. We came here with faith. But we also came here with the love of God. It's so important to realize that the Lord our God, he wants the love back that he has given to us. We can worship and praise him right now. Come on, let's thank the Lord. Come on, love him. Love him right now. Love him right now. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. It's amazing how the Lord is actually revealed itself to me over the years yeah. when we was at our very end. Mm -hmm. We was at the very end, amen, trying to find the property. I went back and talked to the bishop. He pulled a map out and he said, go right up here. Mm -hmm. And I drove exactly where he told me to go. Yes, sir. And there was a sign for sale yeah. on this property. Praise God. Praise God. And it's amazing when you come with hope yes, sir. and faith and actually answer the call of God, God will reveal himself to you. Yes, sir. Right. Praise God. Amen. We built a church right here. Amen. On this land. That's how God actually revealed himself to us. Amen. In the midst of our end yes, sir. and our storm. Amen. God knows exactly where we are. Yes, he does. God wants you to seek him with all your heart. And he promised that when you do, you would actually find him. Amen. And that's in Jeremiah 29, 13. I remember another time, amen, that me and my wife was at our end. Received a, a letter. Amen. From the federal government that we owed approximately $28,000 and they was fit to start garnishing my check. We couldn't afford it. We were here trying to start a church. And here come this storm. $28,000. We was at an end. Oh, yeah. Amen. You know what I did? I went to the Lord in repentance and in prayer. You know what I told the Lord? We sold a house in Lock, Oklahoma, amen. And we felt the urgency, amen, to obey the call of God 
And to no fault of our own, we sold a house to some individuals that lived in the house for six months and foreclosed on the, the loan. As I was in prayer, the Lord actually instructed me to go to the lawyer, amen, that they used to close on my house. I walked in the office, laid the letter on his desk. He got read the letter, and he said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to write a letter to the government. He wrote the letter to the government. I brought it to the church and laid it on the altar uh -huh. and prayed over the letter and put it in the mail. Yes, sir. Amen. Approximately amen, a month and a half, a letter came back. And they relieved us for almost $28,000. God knew how to build him, reveal himself when you are at your end. That's yes, right. Yes. He knows how to reveal himself at your end. So the next time you feel the need, amen, to be better understood, turn to the one who understands you perfectly. Yes. Yes. Even more important, ask him to help you to actually know him better. Yes, sir. Amen. I come to my close. If you are a bachelor, go ahead, preacher. Or you have not repented of your sin. Go ahead, preacher. You may do so now. Uh-huh. But you must also. If you haven't been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ uh -huh. for the remission of your sins, uh -huh. you need to come to the church house. Uh -huh. Newburgh Tabernacle, yes. uh -huh. 3210 East of Constance, All right. uh -huh. okay. in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh -huh. and we will gladly baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. 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 And there is a promise yes. that we obey God. If we repent and be baptized in his name, yes. he promised to give us the gift of the Holy Ghost yes, he did. with the evidence yes, he did. of speaking other tongues as the Spirit of God gives the utterance. Amen. Not time by time. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on. All right. Come on. I'm talking about speaking yes, in a heavenly yes, language yes. flowing. Yes. Will you love the Lord right now? Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. 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 Somebody worship him. Come on. He got to him. I gotta get to know him. I got to get to know him. Know him better. Yes, I got to get to know him. Yes, I got to get to know him. Praise God. God bless you. Amen. We'll see you this coming Wednesday. Amen with our Bible study. Amen. And God bless you.